All right, welcome back. We're falling down a thing. Okay. Oh, no, there's nothing down here. Watch for those. There's... They drop at regular intervals. Three, four, five. There's no music? No. That's scary. Oh, fuck. Nice. Fuck. Oh, fuck, dude. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Bubble lead. As soon as he pops out, get into your menu and get bubble lead out. Holy fuck, I don't think I've ever gotten this far in this game. Bubble. Bubble. I just go up and hit him. E-tank. Bubble. Just dodge those shots. Don't waste your bubble. Fuck. Nice. Do it. One more, one more, one more. Mick wins! Oh! Mick wins my oh! round two! Mick fucking wins! Oh. What, what is this? One more, Future Kino! Mick wins! Oh, God! Oh. Yes! Mick wins! Oh. My, my did he actually turn into an alien himself? No, it was just a robot alien that he was using. Did you see the little thing that was floating around? Oh. That was the track it was on. It was like a illusion or some shit. Oh, fucking A, dude. Oh, my God. My, my chest is fucking... <laughs> in, my chest is like... Like... I don't know. one more. Mick wins. Yay! Future Kino, Mick fucking wins. <laughs> Mick is the fucking winner. Yes. Why am I that color? That was the atomic fire. It, you oh. go through like all like the seasons and shit. Oh, There's that's your awesome. bubble. I like that. Oh man. That last stage isn't Flash. shit. It's just that's a boomerang. Quick. Quick. Okay. Yeah. Oh man. That's uh the Air. that's the airman. Oh. My goodness. It's Mega Man's long walk back uh, home. Oh, he went through the four seasons. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. Oh, no. Oh! My helmet! So that was the thing. A couple episodes, there was something. Uh, it, was in a, it was in a post roll that I mentioned I wanted to talk about. By the way, before you do that, did you pop up the drink counter? Uh, that was the last episode. Okay. Yeah. Um, first time I beat this game, I was a fucking kid. I was, I had to be like, I had to be like seven or eight years old. We were in, uh, we were in Indiana visiting our family and we were at my aunt Sis's house and she had an NES and Mega Man 2 and I had it at home and I, I'd, I'd been playing with it, but I hadn't gotten through it yet. So I sat one night at my aunt sister's house and just sat there and fucking played Mega Man 2 and that was the first time I actually ever beat it.
<laughs> like I was on vacation with my family visiting them back there. And it was the first time I ever beat Mega Man 2. And like my family thought I was insane because I woke them up in the middle of the night fucking just celebrating that I beat Mega Man 2. <laughs> they thought I was they thought I lost my fucking mind. You probably did for a little bit. Oh I did. I was so happy that it actually oh, I happened. Did. Wow. Oh man. Yeah, that was that was I'm so happy. That was gruesome. Because I mean, one was one was hard. One was hard. But this one fucking Holy shit, like, at least I, I can remember it for, for future reference. Yeah. Like, if I ever play this game again, which I probably won't. <laughs> three, three is gonna be fun. Oh yeah, well, three is, three is a big fan fave. Which is awesome, because three is just a good game. Music, play, um, just everything, everything yeah. about it is, it was revolutionary. Yeah, three is my favorite. But this definitely, uh, took off and went in that direction. So this was like the beginning prelude. They, they thanked us for playing. Thank you for playing. Presented by Capcom. Oh, fuck. Is it going to sit here for a while? I think it'll just sit here for a while. Cool. We can, we can, we can wax nostalgic for a bit. Fuck. We've got like half the episode left. Oh, shit. We've got more than half the episode left. Holy fuck. I didn't realize it was going to be that like, quick of a defeat. We've got almost two-thirds of the episode left. I didn't I didn't realize, man, I, I didn't realize that, that he was going to go down so quick, man. Yeah, was, yeah I didn't Well, it, it took an energy tank, like, it was his shots, and you ended up getting the shots down pretty good to where you could dodge him. That was the thing. Like, he wasn't hitting you. I think if you hit his body, it would have hurt you a lot more, but you were you were doing a good job of avoiding him. Oh, I, I uh, finally got his, his pattern down, and, like, if you kept moving, jump, moving, jump, yeah. moving, jump, like, back and forth, he couldn't hit you because he, he would go to where you were, but if you continued to walk left or right, yeah. he wouldn't hit you with the shit. So I was like, oh, okay, I got the pattern down, like, immediately, which it, uh, it usually takes me a minute and a half <laughs> to the, get down a pattern. The thing I noticed with the way we were doing it is some things were still different, like, we're doing the anniversary collection, so... Like, I mentioned in the first episode, and I had to mention a few times to explain it, um, normal in the anniversary collection is difficult from the original, and easy in the anniversary collection is normal from the original. But there were still some differences. It was kind of like a halfway point in between. Like, <laughs> there were still some things that weren't there that should have been there, but then there were things that happened that, like, there were, there were things, there were things that weren't, there that would normally be there in the normal mode yeah like the, like the, in the flaming dog yeah the, the flaming dog, dog. The there was missing a flaming dog and um in quick man stage there was one uh board in the quick man stage where there should have been those beams coming across that weren't and then he, and that and then that he, still should have been in normal mode so that would that kind of struck me as weird and then he even when you when you went up against him he had a, a moment where he stopped firing everything for just a second. Yeah, he had like a weird moment. And, but then but then there were things like the the canister fucks in Oh yeah. In normal mode if I remember normal mode on the NES and um somebody please correct me if I'm wrong. In normal mode on the NES, those things don't topple. If you just hit them they die and it's difficult mode where they actually do the thing where they topple and and throw the cans at you. Oh, the and, the four. Yeah. The four tall. Yeah, and that okay. was a and and some of the the bosses in the Wily uh, castle were doing more damage than I thought they should, especially the fucking the the, the gutsman? no 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 the the gutsman was fucking me up, but the uh, the 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 clinky clinks that we had to shoot the metal oh at, god yes the things that the were one, coming that together one, and the clinky clink that was the one that we we tried we like a we had to do like times. three times yeah yeah. Uh, those, those, that, that was a bit more damage than I remembered it being. A bit. <laughs> I don't know about a bit. So it was like it a was... balance. There was like a weird combination, uh, between the two, um, in the anniversary collection. I don't think, I don't think either mode in the anniversary collection actually fully 100% is identical. Oh, no. To the original normal and difficult. Um, we put it on what should have been normal for the original, but there were some things that, and even I think you noted, and there, I noticed a couple times where some of the bosses took less from their weak weapon than they should have. Not a whole lot, because even you were talking about Crash Man, 
how the air air shooter was fucking him up it was so like two bad. Hits. But I do I do remember that because um I I downloaded uh, Mega Man Two on my 3DS, and I remember sitting there playing through it. It was this had to be months ago, um, and I was just sitting there playing through it. I was I was sitting in my car waiting for something. I don't know. And I decided, oh, I'm going to play Mega Man 2. I downloaded it. Why not? And I'm just sitting in my car. And I, Air Man's weapon does do a fuck ton of damage to Crash Man. Oh, yeah. But I think it was a little bit more in this trying to do what was supposed to be the normal mode. Um, whatever. I don't care. I had fun. No, I mean, it was great. I really have to say, though, <clears throat> like, I really appreciate everybody like sitting here with us and going through this with us because yeah. this was brutal like i know that you guys have you know sat I'm here just... and watched with us before yeah. and you were patient with us like but this one there was something about this one i don't know if it was just because it was the anniversary collection version or not but it was just it took so much brain energy yeah that it, it felt like my for me it felt like my brain was literally just melting well and then slowly. it was and then it was trying to <sighs> it was trying to remember it and then um the the only time that i actually pulled up a weakness online um there was a point in the episode before this one when i was fighting the wily machine yes um that I, I just wanted to make sure I was like, I don't want to die. I don't want to game over. I want to make sure we get through this so we get to the final boss. And I looked it up. Um, that was That's the only thing that I looked up at all. Um, just because I couldn't remember. Everybody else I remembered what they were weak against. But that I could, could not remember. I was like, fuck, what that is this weak to? specific one, yeah. And um, I had to do it a weird-ass way because the first phase required the atomic flame, which we were out of. And the second phase required the uh, crash bombs, which we were out of. Oh, yeah. So I had to sit there during that cut that we did, and I had to sit there and think, well, what the fuck? We don't have the right weapon, so how the fuck am I going to beat it? So, like, I knew I had the little the, the shot he did where I could jump over it most of the time. So I was oh, like, the one fuck that it. went underneath? Yeah, I was like, fuck it. I'm going to arm cannon it until it busts open. And then it was just some weird idea. I was like, you know what? I can shoot the metal blades diagonally. I'm just going to sit here and spam them with metal blades and hope for the best. And it, well, <laughs> and I mean, it, it worked. happened. It worked. It worked. It did work. Absolutely not the way I was supposed to do it. But I was like, fuck it. We don't have the things I'm supposed to use. So you know, the funny improvise. Thing, the funny thing is I think we've used Metal Man's weapon in this game more than any other thing. Metal Man's weapon game. is the one that does the most to anybody. To like anything in yeah. this game. Like, I was really surprised. Like, you were like, oh, okay, Metal Man. Yeah, Metal Man. One, Metal it, Man. You take like... out Metal Man first and Metal Man's weapon is the one... Uh, Metal Man's weapon takes out Flash Man, Bubble Man, and Wood Man outright. Like, there are things that they're more weak against. I think Bubble Man is also weak against Quick Boomerang. And I think yeah, Wood Man... Is. Wood Man... Um, yeah, I had to do it during the boss rush. Mm -hmm. Wood, uh, Woodman is weak against Atomic Fire, but the Metal Blade still does a fuck ton of damage to those three bosses for some reason. Mm -hmm. um, so it was like, let's take out Metal Man first and then pop out those three and then take the other four from there. Fuck it. Yeah, I think this is one of the very few Mega Man games that one, one uh, weapon is useful against or significantly useful against, against a lot multiple of other people yeah bosses slash wily levels yeah like Mega Man 1 is not like that and Mega Man 3 4 5 6 7 and none of them are like that like this oh, is no. the one where it's like you get Metal Man's weapon and you can take out three other bosses easy as fuck um I guarantee if I look at a thing that tells you how to do it uh, we we did it so wrong we did we I'm sure we did them out of order and all kinds of shit. Well, yeah, cuz remember it said yeah. it said to use atomic flame against atomic flame Man. against Woodman. And it did yeah. it did what one slice of one to two slices of damage each hit? Yeah. Like Well, it, that was no, unless that was, you charged it up. When you, that was um wood uh atomic atomic fire was it said it said to use atomic fire against um the Wily machine. Atomic fire against Woodman was just uh, something that popped into my head. Um, cause I oh, knew okay. Metal Man was wrong. I knew Metal Man was wrong for a Woodman, but it still did a lot of damage. But I just Atomic thought, like, Fire it's, is the thing you're supposed to use. cutting down a tree, that's what I thought. Yeah. Like, it was just... But you're burning wood. That's, yeah, and burning yeah. wood too. Yeah, so I think either one... I thought either one could work, but I remember when we were using Atomic Flame against Woodman, it wasn't doing 
anything. Yeah, that was what fucked me up at first when I tried to use it. I was like, I think it's atomic fire, and I shot it a couple times, and I was like, it's not doing any damage. And I'm like, oh wait, I can I can charge this up. Which is weird because that's the only weapon you can charge up in the entire game, and then when you get to three, you can't charge up anything. <laughs> there's there's no in in the Mega Man in the classic Mega Man games there's there's only a couple weapons I can think of that you charge up, um, like the Mega Buster is the only thing that you charge up in from the in the on. classic ones, um, from four on. Um, four the other thing you charge up is a uh, Pharaoh Man's weapon in four. Yeah. You charge up Pharaoh Man's weapon. I, it I makes this that. big giant thing above your head and you throw it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Okay. So cool. We uh. We vamped for the duration of the episode, and the episode's over. So, uh, yeah, that's the finale. Uh, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And stay nerdy. Thanks, guys. Hope you had a good time. Yeah. We did. We did. Yes.